So welcome back to hot and steamy Florida, everybody. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. We build DIY projects like this all the time. I have been planning for a couple of years now to build a tractor basket for the front of my tractor. I actually borrowed a homemade one from a friend last year and it was just invaluable on how much it helped me build that house over there. And I knew from then on, it just lit the fire under me even more that I had to have a tractor basket. So from picking grapes around on the property on the natural grape vines to fruits to working on my house to changing out the antennas for, you know, our cell phone boosters and internet, everything else, I actually found that I used a tractor basket all the time. And we have a lot of big projects coming up on the channel as well where I'm gonna need one again. Tiffany and I are on the front porch the other day. I'm leaned up on this guy right here talking to her and uh, literally I went, hey dummy. One of those you should have had a V8 moments. So here's your tractor basket right here. It's already built for you. All I've got to do is build a frame to carry it, hook it up to the front end loader on my tractor, and you're good to go. So I've already thought that through, purchased a few things to make that happen. That's what we're doing in this episode. So how are we going to hook this up to the front of the tractor? Well, it just so happens online, I'll put a link in there. I have a John Deere tractor with John Deere hookups. Look what they sell on my good store, Amazon. So this is a Baker style scaffolding. This is actually one from Harbor Freight. They sell them at Home Depot everywhere, online, Amazon, you name it. And the beautiful thing it is, it already has all these holes for adjustments, but I can already use these holes for accessories that I can build later. Actually, I already have some accessories built for this because I use this scaffolding to build my house. I've got plywood holders I made out of angle iron that'll bolt right through these holes. I can do all kinds of add-ons down the road. Plus, I've already got the railing system for this. I can adjust it up and down to change the height uh, and get up to a pretty high working height on the track.
So as y'all can see, it's next day, and I'm out here re-recording a scene where I had audio get messed up uh, whenever I made this yesterday. I was inside editing and noticed, well, I can't even use this clip, but it's an important point and one worth mentioning. So we've got some odd forces at play here, and I had to do something to mitigate that because we're taking something that was manufactured and engineered to work on all four legs on a solid surface and we're trying to make it work off of being supported only on two legs. Well, that no longer makes this safe or usable unless we do something. And again, that's why I recommend don't attempt this at home. So as you can see, I've got this mount on the back side holding these two legs only. So if we pick this up and put all the weight in here, maybe hang a sheet of plywood on the front as I'm working against the house, I'm up here. That force is trying to drive these legs down, which are no longer supported. And it's really trying to just bend the whole structure outward from these upper mounting points. So that's putting a lot of stress and strain right here that could eventually fail this pipe that way. And again, because this is trying to drive down, it's also putting strain on these welded points right here. One way that you can mitigate that is weld in some gussets here, but that only takes some of the flex out of the equation. So it's gonna be just about impossible to see now that I've painted everything up black. But if you look right there, I bought a set of very heavy duty weld-on hinges. Those are actually rated for 900 pounds for the pair. You can see this whole piece pivots in and out. It's got like a half inch thick uh, solid steel shaft that goes up in that top piece. And it's also greasable. So what I'm trying to accomplish here, y'all see me weld this on in the video but I'm bolted all the way through on one side. I got two bolts to go through a couple of these mounting locations. Okay, now drop back down over that pin and I'm actually bolting this side, although I think I'm gonna go get some wing nuts from the store and make this to where the tire assembly is removable. But what I have just done now, when this whole structure tries to flex this way, all that flex is now transferred into those half inch steel shafts which is not the world's best support, but it's something. But more importantly, what's happening when this entire structure tries to flex this way, this leg now wants to go back in in order to make that failure happen. And I have welded this support to go right back into the bottom plate to where it connects to the knuckle of the tractor. So it's transferring force back into the loader arms of the tractor, which is my most solid points. So that's what's supporting the entire structure. So this keeps this from wanting to drop, but more important, it keeps this from wanting to fail and allow the whole structure to fold back in on itself because now this is pushed right back into the tractor itself. Something like this has to happen. Otherwise, you're running a major risk of if you pick it up from the backside, this thin wall tubing right here, eventually cracking, failing, and this whole structure snapping off, which I think goes without saying is extremely dangerous. So, moment of truth. Let's see what this feels like. Well, so far, so good. So, check this out. I have, what is this, about six feet of working room right here. And any scaffold accessories, well, they work. I have a scaffold now. All right, I'm gonna get down and take a look at all the mounting points where the pins and stuff are. See if everything looks okay, nothing's bending or giving. I know my welds aren't. My Lord, I got a mile of welds on this thing. Now I've got a cab tractor with a lot of weight on the rear and I have water filled rear tires. 
But typically, if I was going to be lifting up and working like this, I would have something heavy on the back of the tractor. But these compact tractors, they don't really have a problem with being tipsy front and rear. It's side to side. Now, this is a wider compact tractor, one of the biggest they make, and it's very stable. But my last 3 Series John Deere was quite tipsy. There's no way I would build a basket like this for a smaller compact tractor like that. All right, well, the good news is this is, I think, going to work out great. I'm going to have to let it earn my trust a little, and I'm going to keep an eye on all the mounting points. But I'm already, this is about 15 feet right here. The shop is 14 feet. My head's 15. I could work 16 feet right here, and I am not lifted all the way up. I can probably get up another two feet. I think I could at least work 18 feet, maybe higher, with a basket like this. That is awesome. We can carry this around on the property to pick wild grapes. We have muscadine grapevines everywhere. I can work on the house. And the main reason I just went ahead and got this built and rushed it is because I'm about to adjust all the antennas and do a lot more work on our cellular internet. We have a pretty awesome couple of videos coming up for that. New antennas, new equipment, new plans. We've got all kinds of cool stuff to test. And I needed a tractor basket to get up there because I had to give the other one back that I was borrowing. This is going to work perfectly. All right, so here's a quick look at it before I go slap some paint on it. You've got brackets right here that I decided to go ahead and bolt to make things nice and sturdy. They're on some hinges up here. And honestly, I'm only going to use the hinges mainly for storage to make this nice and compact. Whenever I take this part, I'll actually lift up and off, pull those bolts out. But the hinges would be great for storage and go put this under the barn. So the back mounts, just take the pins and pull this right off. And I'm probably just going to put wing nuts on those instead of... Uh, ones that actually tighten down with the wrench. That way I can take this off and on in probably less than a minute. And here are these big heavy duty tractor mounts. I think I'm gonna put some different ones down in the description if y'all are interested in them. These are very well built, no doubt about that. Uh, the one thing I don't like is this part is so wide, you have very little room to play with. So it's a little aggravating to hook up. These should be a little more narrow to give you a little play either direction when you're coming in with the tractor. That's my only complaint with them. So I guess with something like this, it doesn't matter. You can wheel it over and kind of put it right where you need, but I'd rather not get out of the tractor if I don't have to. And they also come with the pins to run on the larger five series John Deere's as well. All right, so I think this was an excellent project. I already had the scaffold. I'm gonna keep the scaffold for life. Uh, I have another one over here, as you can see behind me, because sometimes I need to work up in the top of a 14 foot shop here on the porch, all that. So it made a whole lot more sense to adapt this to my needs to use something I've already bought and paid for than to build from scratch. Plus, it saved me a tremendous amount of time. Now, if y'all remember the tractor basket that I borrowed, there was a lot of changes I was planning on making. One, I really wanted toe kicks and I get it right here with this metal tech railing that's been added on to this. Tools don't fall out now if whenever I go to lift, if it tilts forward or backwards. And it just feels so much better whenever your toes bump into something when you're way up there 16 or 18 feet. By the way, y'all seen where I just lifted it up there at the end? Looks like I can easily get to 18 feet to work with this. It won't be a problem at all. That'll cover everything that I have on the property. So if y'all enjoyed this project, let me know because I'm thinking about making a part two. I needed to rush and get this done so I can get back to doing my cellular internet testing and make a bunch of adjustments. I have to have a basket. It's just about impossible to do all those antennas and stuff off of an extension ladder. So what I'd like to do for part two, if y'all show interest in it, is start making accessories for this. Little tool hangers and stuff for nails and screws. And since I have all these holes right here, I'm thinking about making some hangers on either side for a ladder holder for that extension ladder. And I'm really considering building hangers that maybe bolt in that hold the ladder so I can tote it around. Um, and then some kind of odd shaped hanger to where I can put the ladder underneath. So in the event of a hydraulic failure, which I think is highly unlikely that that would ever happen, but say we lose hydraulics, the valve fails or a line bust while I'm up in this basket, 
and it wants to start letting itself down, I'm thinking about having the say or the uh, extension ladder hook into some mounts right here and it would actually wedge into the ground. It'd be like a safety backup. So if you do wind up blowing a hose or something, I can go forward right now when the tractor's off and this stuff lets down relatively easy. So there's not a whole lot of weight here. I think an aluminum extension ladder could easily hold it up until I can get down and get to safety. Actually, I'm gonna be using this in January to go help my father fully sheathe and finish a 20 by 40 shop. We'll include that on the channel. And I know I'm gonna need this to hold sheets of plywood. He's got a John Deere tractor over there too. He can lift me right up when we're putting those higher sheets up. You can let this do the heavy lifting for you. I can be up there with a nail gun, pick it up, put it right where you want and go to nailing it in. Um, that's exactly what I did on the house with that homemade basket that we just had here throughout the house build. So if you can think of any cool accessories that I should probably build for this, things that would help me working, Hey, I'm all ears. We're going to have so many projects coming up in the future to where I'm going to wind up using this that, uh, yeah, hey, I'm all ears. All right, so I'm going to get out here and get this spray painted up, and you're going to actually see this in use very soon because I have some cellular internet videos coming up, and we have some new antennas to play with. Catch y'all in the next video.